Put in work in the pandemic. Nick's magic tonight at 102, 150. You left me hanging. What were they supposed Put to say? Put in work in the pandemic. Julius Randall. Who need a sample? Put in work in the pandemic. Julius Randall. Here. Oh, no. I'm at Alan Houston. It's different this time. Julius Randle. Julius Randle. My guy is back. Continue. Take it away. 115 102. 115 102. The Knicks are such a fun team yep. to watch as an all around team. Everyone is playing. Everyone's giving us points. Everyone's giving us something. And what a fun, fun game. I hope they can keep this up for the duration of the season. This is exactly what we wanted to see. And I want to just point out. Mm, My guy's meditating. I noticed in game one <laughs> that Julius Randle was taking time to meditate prior to the game. And you can see the results. He seems to be playing with a much more clear head. He seems happy, he's joyful, he's playing defense, he's giving us points, he's passing the ball, he's doing everything that I want to see him do. So I am so, so, so happy with Julius Randle. And I know you are too. One of my, one of my favorite things about your basketball analysis <laughs> is that because you're, you know, you weren't always like I a big really fan of the game. <laughs> nah, nah, it's not that. It's, you know, you weren't always like following the game that close. So your observations sometimes come without any bias. Right. You know what I mean? You're right, not thinking right, right. of, you know, of anything to do with NBA yep. history or anything. You're just like, yo, this guy. So you notice he was yeah. meditating, yep. which I didn't see. I saw tonight. People saw it again. So Julius finding his zen. That's what you want to see. That's what we asked for from Julius. This is what he was doing two years ago. But now I'm even more impressed because he's not doing it just as the main option. He's fitting in with the team. He's letting Brunson take charge. Brunson is making his game a lot easier. We'll talk about Brunson in a bit. So we love that for Julius. I, you know, I always hope that when Julius really got a true point guard that was directing things out there, making things happen, that he could take a back seat and be even more effective and you're seeing it, right? Mm -hmm. Less is more with Julius. He's shooting less, right? He's doing, he's not as involved. I mean, he, I, I can't say that because he is very involved, but he's not the main guy. He's not doing everything by himself. Right. And, he, and he doesn't need to be. And he doesn't need to. And he likes, and he's fine with this role. Because, exactly. Because, happy because what could have happened is... Uh. <laughs> he could have felt like, well, this is my team. Who's yep. this guy coming in? Yeah, you're the point guard, but it's still my team. And he could have then kind of put pressure on, on uh, Brunson. But he's definitely allowed Brunson to come in and take this position. And can I tell you, because I, you know, and I'll say it again, I'm not a big basketball expert by any stretch. So watching this point guard, because we haven't had a true point guard for so many years. So now that we actually have one, I'm seeing such a difference <laughs> with how the entire team plays because he yeah. really is, uh, what do you guys call it, that floor general. And everyone's allowing him to play that part. And the rest of the team is just falling into place. And I love it. I wait, love wait, it. you didn't get that with Moutier? Guess not. <laughs> Just want to reiterate, you mentioned before, this team is fun. The team, this the team, team is, the team is fun. fun. Everyone is fun. Everyone is having a good time. You know, Brunson changed things. You know, your observations are astute yet again. But you're seeing it. <laughs> Brunson is, you know, it's someone you can trust. Someone in the clutch that can make a bucket. You know, I'm so used to a lot of players, but specifically guys in Orlando. We used to have Vucevic when he was there. Terrence Ross, my, my namesake. <laughs> yes, you didn't know that, but now you do. And um, what's his name? Cole Anthony, even that's your friends, Wagner, all these guys always coming to the garden and going crazy. Because they'd like to come because here. Because they want to come here. They're on but Broadway. They want to show up and have, on Broadway, that, right? have that kind of game. But right? you know what we have now? Some of the punch back. Someone that's going to get involved and say, you know what? You're not scoring all these buckets by yourself. I'm about to go back and forth with you. And you saw some moments tonight when Cole Anthony got hot. Mm hmm. Brunson said, I bet you hot, I'm hot too. Let's go. Yep. And, and, and that little back and forth, as opposed to other years, we got Cole Anthony just scoring 20 in a row and no one's stopping And him. walking all over us. And so, walking so all Brunson, over us. Brunson, even though he's not a super tall guy, Brunson has that little bit of size on him. Yep. And I'm noticing that he definitely doesn't mind using his body and getting pummeled. I just don't know. Um, and I don't know if it's sustainable, right? right. Because I don't know. Exactly. we don't want him to get beat up. 
and then like he's damaged. I don't so know. If we Brunson, need to kind of he needs to kind of chill a little bit with the some uh, of the charges. Taking those charges. Yeah. Some of the charges. I'm like, I don't know if we need this charge in October 2020. Right, maybe right. maybe a couple months. We now ago, but start. We now start. I love the effort. I love the effort. Let's <laughs> talk about RJ. I know you want to talk about RJ. So RJ Barrett. So beginning of the game, obviously he was not having a good game. One and for I'm nine. Watch, and I'm watching him, and I'm like, listen, this kid looks like he had. He's on. I gave you the analogy. Like he looks like he's on the bike. And he's trying to ride, trying to ride, and, and we just want him to get to that point where he actually takes off. And as I said that, he and that's the one thing about him, he's able to turn his game around mid-game. Yeah. Like he's not a person that comes out and like he he won't score. Like he said, what did he he was one and nine, you said? It was one for nine at one point. So yeah. he will have that game for the beginning, but then he's able to still come back with the same energy or with a different energy i guess and start scoring and then take his game you know kind of to the next level so after he had that really bad start he was able to turn the game around and had a really nice kind of flashy a little bit performance towards the end what did he end up scoring uh um, oh, 14 in the 14 end right that's some end. easy buckets so so that was that was good to see that he was able yeah. to turn that around and again it shows you that we have a deep team we have a deep team look rj if he's not getting it going if he's not getting it going one night we have someone that could fill in but with RJ, you know, the conversation is bigger. He got paid. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be on this level or at least start showing this. Do you think he's pressing? So you were telling me that earlier. I don't, I don't necessarily I was speculating. Think, so you were saying that, you know, he got paid all this money. So is he now like, oh, I got to perform. Is he pressing a little I'm bit about I'm kind of it. not seeing that. I'm kind of like, okay, you got paid the money. Yeah, step up and perform. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like so the pressure, but I mean, it's like the pressure is so getting so to him, So maybe you know? the pressure is messing with him, actually. That, Perhaps. you know, hey, I got paid this money and now I'm not performing the way that I need to. But Audrey's a solid guy. We want to see him do well. So whenever you see us criticizing him, it's not that we're coming down on him it's that we want to see this kid step I have up so, listen, and be that guy like we really really do so you know we saw that little turnaround tonight which was great i've got so much faith in rj you know that's someone who that's i'm not saying he's a franchise player but he's gonna be the soul of the franchise right so i'm never worried about him long term right we want to see certain steps at certain points rj has started slow many seasons now to be honest you know that 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 could just be something with him in the regular season mm -hmm. but it was good like you said we saw that bounce back we saw that camaraderie with the team right you saw hartenstein on a play where rj missed and hartenstein put it back in yep he was hyping him up like yes. yo bro keep going and i he love is. that i love this team is together yeah the this team, team, is, is, team together. is together and the yeah. next thing that they're doing that this is another observation that i make when i watch basketball <laughs> is um the refs the refs are a big part of the game right and i notice and everyone knows that the refs give good calls to the star players around the league. They know who they are. So I always feel, you know, you kind of got to be in their air a little bit, not just <laughs> screaming at them, but you kind of got to have some camaraderie going on with the refs. Yeah. And I watched Oof. Julius tonight having those little conversations with the refs. Look at Julius, you're so know, happy. I'm kind watching of, the screen. I can't even of, pay attention. I'm just getting. explaining <laughs> a little bit, you know, like just talking to the refs, having that conversation with the refs, because I feel like when they do that, yep. then they're getting the calls that they want. And I don't, I don't know if that's how it actually works, but it, I, mean, I, feel, I feel to a point that, yeah, the refs are starting to respect uh, some of these guys because they see they're not playing dirty, they see that they're solid guys, and I think it def definitely helps for us to get good calls. I don't know if that's a good thing, listen, that's, what, that's what I see. Julius was doing that tonight. We saw, you, got, you, you know, you got to schmooze with these guys, right? Mm -hmm. They're part of the league too. They're human. They want to feel good. Yep. Why not? Why not? <laughs> um, look, exciting to see where we're going right now. We have a fun team. It's a shame. And the, any other players you want to talk about? Um, well, Cam Reddish and Hartenstein, they both gave, both gave us seven points. And they both are, so, so to me, both good players. And they both added something to the game. You know, um, unfortunately, yep. quickly had zero points tonight. Um, Obi, 10 points. And Obi's just so flashy. And again, so The pass so to RJ. Fun. Oh, that, oh, pass, behind, that pass behind the back to RJ was Incredible. sweet. And definitely shows you that they're a team. Yeah. And they don't care. They, they want to see everyone win. You know, like no one's playing selfish basketball like at all. So yeah. that's like a great thing um, that I'm seeing with the team. Also. The vibes are good yeah. around your New York Knicks. We play mm -hmm. the Hornets next, mm -hmm. which is a game again. I think we should win. Now we have such a deep, solid team. We mentioned this before, guys. I could see us doing really well in the regular season, right? Okay. Where it's about consistency. Our bench is going to beat so many opposing benches. I right, agree. and you can see like like a lot of benches just can't hang at our bench. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be fast. We're gonna be athletic. You know, in some of those games, like in the winter, we're gonna have hopefully young guys who still are up for it. So excellent stuff. 
thing is, the Eastern Conference is just so good. Yeah. So we'll so see good. where we end up. But quick I'm, question, I'm, quick I'm happy right now. Bobo, who is he going as uh, for Halloween? Slender Man. <laughs> but I don't think that's unique. You know, you see, you see Bobo, you see Bobo out here with the long arms. But Orlando felt like they just they had like a bunch of manufactured players from a lab. <laughs> they had Mobamba. They had a Paulo Banquero, who's, who's, who's really quite a player. Good, that guy's yeah. looking pretty good. What is he like? Nineteen years old. Nineteen, just Damn. looking like rookie of the year potentially. Damn. But anyway, um, good stuff from next, the Knicks. Our next game well, is uh, so, Hornets. Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, on we Wednesday, so we'll see you guys. Wait, soon. and final thing, Terrence Ross didn't kill us tonight. Jalen Brunson <laughs> played good. Happens. It usually happens. Jalen Brunson played good defense. They shot twenty percent from three. So we were getting out there in the perimeter. We were getting engaged. I saw Randall playing off-ball defense. It's a good time to be a Nick fan. It's always a good time to be a Nick fan. Win or lose. There you go. That's that OB to RJ play. Perfect way to end it off, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.